exaggerated speed. Cats and dogs, that thing weighed a ton, etc. Question, what is your speech on exaggerate, exaggerated speech? It's raining cats and dogs, um, driving like a bat out of hell. This thing weighs a ton, I'll be there in one second, right? Things like this, right? Tight. it. And other lines of poetry as well. <laughs> With some of the poets have what? <laughs> have made references towards. At the end of the day, I don't think that's exaggerated speech. I think that's just speech. Whether you call it exaggerated or not. The same thing exists in Arabic. The same thing exists what? In Arabic. There are many, many, many lines of poetry in which there's mubalagha or tajawaz or tajawaz in kalam. So if you apply it in Arabic, it's, uh, in English, it's also when applying what? In Arabic. Now some of the ulama of Islam, they say, about the authentic hadith in which the Prophet said about the Bedouin man, aflaha wa abi in sadaq. Okay, my ja'a. The man came and he asked about the pillars of Islam, about salah, about zakat, etc. And he says, Hal alayya Do I have to do other? Do I have to do other? Do I have to do other? And the Prophet says, La illa anta tawwa. No, unless you want to do extra. The man turned away. The Prophet is quoted to have said, Aflaha wa abi in sadaqah. I swear by my father, he'll be successful if he sticks to that. If he only does the obligatory acts, he'll be what? Okay. And the ulama, they differ over this hadith. How could the Prophet swear by his father? And in which he tells the people, La tahlifu bi abaikum. Don't swear by your fathers. It's problematic. And one of the answers is that the Prophet ﷺ, he said that statement and he didn't mean it. Exaggerated speech. But he didn't actually what mean to swear by his father with the aqidah of swearing by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or the hadith in which it says, Thakilatka ummuka. May your mother be bereft of you. That's making dua for what? For death. May your mother be bereft of you. Meaning, may you? May you die. And may your mother suffer and cry because of your loss. Did the Prophet mean that? Did the Sahaba mean that? But it's called what? Expression. If that's what you call expression or exaggerated speech. So if it's demonic in English, which many people, they have this view, everything in English is bad, such as poetry. You can't quote a, a, a rapper. That's they're, they're jahiliya. Huh? Right, Harun? You can't say a line of, of, of urban poetry. You can't say that. But you can quote a, a, a polytheist idol worshiper who died huh, in Jahidiya, you can quote him. Was he upon guidance? The rapper may be Muslim. And this was an idol worshiper. But his statement is a statement of what? Truth, of wisdom. And the culture is represented by poets. Or the poets are the ones who do what? Express the culture, as you said. He was talking about this section of Queens, but that was really happening what? In another section. But where are those, the voices of that other section? So the rapper from another section of Queen, he did what? He represented it. Did you not say this or not? He represented what was going on through his what? Through his poetry. So many people, they say poetry in English is bad. Saying, oh, geez, or this or that, you can't say that, you can't say that. But what about in what? Arabic. What about the hadiths in which we have statements like this, may your mother be bereft of you? Then what? They didn't mean that. That's not what they intended. So the ulama of Islam, they have explained this issue, is that there are certain statements that people make in which they do not what? Intend. And sometimes it is what? Okay. So if it's bad in English, it's going to be bad what? And if it's okay in Arabic, it's going to be what? As long as it's in that context. So wow, this is heavy. This weighs a ton. No one, no one is going to believe in the right mind that the thing weighs a what? A ton. I'll be there in one second. Just wait a second, Aki. Give me one minute. And you know what? I'm going to go up the steps and be at least what? 15. <laughs> Five minutes, inshallah. Next question. 